morning folks nice morning today a little bit in the shade so that's pretty good so i'm just got on site here and no sooner than i stick my shovel in the dirt here check it out nice big marble i don't know if that's blown or not beauty though. Look at the swirls through that. It's an amber one. Let's see if I can get the light. Oh man. There we go. It's a little better. Nice first find. Looks like it's got a little bruise right there though. Cool. Uh, here's a wild root bottle. Hasn't really got much going for it. It says wild root up the side of it. It's clear. Check out the stuff in it. Pretty milky white fluid. That's a hair tonic. It's probably from the late 30s or 40s. I don't think I'll keep that one. Oh well, uh, let's keep digging. Next find on this uh, fine morning, folks, is another one of these little cars. It's an MPC car. It says Voxy 2 on the trunk. I never heard of that make a car before, but that's what it says, I believe. Check it out. All right. Well, let's uh, keep scraping away here. I just hauled that ink out, folks. I didn't think it was real old, but it's probably older than I originally thought it was. Maybe 20s. I don't know. And then right not long after it, I got another one right here. I think this is a cone, yeah. That looks to be all together. Oh, this is a uh, mucilage. Cool. Another LePage's mucilage. I found one here not too long ago few videos back. Cool. I'll keep that for sure. Okay folks, right in the same area. I got just got that uh, cone mucilage right over that way. <laughs> now look what we got sticking out here. It looks like a case gin. Hopefully it's whole. Well, let's go ahead and pull it out. It's a big one. Oh, that is whole. Oh my. Oh. Oh, it's embossed. It's embossed. Oh. Check it out. It's embossed. It's embossed. P. Melchers. I've never got a, an embossed one before. Oh my. That just made the day worthwhile. Oh. <laughs> What a day maker, folks. What a day maker. Wow. I'm excited about that. Wow, wow. Okay, uh, I'll let you go for now. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, folks. I'm getting down into a crunchy layer. So I don't know if that could mean it's good. It could mean nothing. I'm still dealing with all this plastic. I've got a bunch of it up there now. But it's uh there's a pile of it here anyways check this out another toy truck i found several out of this site before well, that's a nice one still got a nice paint job on it can't wait to get this one cleaned up and see what it is it's in pretty good shape okay let's keep going Right up a little cork top here, folks. I thought I'd get you up on before I touch it to, in case it's anything. Well, yeah, it is embossed on the side, I see. It says woods on the side. 
Woods, uh, Norway pine syrup. Okay. That's actually the first one of these I've dug. Nice. There's something. Toronto, Ontario. Not sure if it's blown or not. Looks like it's possibly machine made. Anyways, this is a nice embossed bottle. Boss. Got some writing on the bottom. Can't make it out though. Cool. Keeper. Okay, folks. Got another one sticking out here. Not sure. Yeah, it is embossed. I can feel lettering on it. Not sure if it's whole or not. Pull it out. It's whole. It's a screw top. Ah, it's a Raleigh's. <laughs> the old Raleigh's. Good day, viewers. Thanks for joining me for another bottle digging recap here. We got a variety of stuff here again from this particular site. This is the one with all them little dinky cares and stuff like that I've been finding here. Well, we'll start her off with this P. Melcher's Dry Gin Bottle. Check it out. That's the first gin bottle I've found that uh, is embossed. So I was quite happy to find that one. It's machine made. And P. Melcher's is a genuine Holland gin. And this doesn't appear to be connected with J.J. Melcher's from what I could find Info online, there is a J.J. Melcher's Gin, but it uh, doesn't appear to be connected in any way to this one. This is a different one, and uh, other than uh, having a similar name, Melcher's. So that was interesting. I could be wrong. If I am, uh, please feel free to correct me. Next, we got uh, Dr. Wood's Norway Pine Syrup Bottle. Let's see if I can get focus there. Woods Norway Pine Syrup, Toronto, Ontario. This one is machine made, and that is just simply a cough medicine or cough syrup. And we got this little uh, dinky truck here. This is Dinky 410. It's a Bedford End Tipper. Check it out. Kind of neat. It's in pretty good shape. This would have had a little lever here that you turn and the bed flipped up like that and dumped number 410 and oddly enough this here is a bedford royal mail van and it's also got number 410 it's a dinky 410 i don't know why it's got the same number as the other one but there it is and uh look that up online and you can see that they're both number 410 for some reason yep A little crusty. Then we got two more of these uh, miniature plastic cars, MPCs, from the 1950s. I dug a lot of these out of that site. And this will probably be the uh, last two, I would imagine. And then there's this Horner's. With a lot of these Horner's bottles in there. Big ones and little ones. This one's got the uh, original cork in it. You can see... That looks like there. Yep, and then that dose cap would go back on top. There you go. And next we got this Canadian Club pint bottle. Oh, hold on a second. How'd that get in there? <laughs> Put that over there. Yep, okay. So next we got this uh, little blown contents bottle. Yep, we got folks there. Contents, one fluid ounce. You can see there. It's a nice little blown one, yep. And then, of course, we got this beauty of a marble. Well, it would have been a marble, or uh, would have been a beauty. It was all bruised up, and uh, it's in kind of rough shape. It had a nice swirl to it. 
But that makes marble number 18, I believe, for this year. For me. Nice uh, crown mason lid there. This one here, lots of embossing on that one. That's a Pendleton's Panacea. Fraser Thornton & Company, Cookshire, Quebec, Canada. This one is blown. We've got a couple blown bottles out of her this time. And uh, these are quite common. Find lots of those around this area anyways. Here's another one. Just a, an, an insulator. It's all busted up there. It's all in one piece, but some bad bruising and cracking on it. Here's a nice one here, folks. This is not a Carter's Cone Ink. This is a LePage's Mucilage bottle. Canada. Looks just like the Cone Inks. The Carter's. Nice bottle. This is an ink. But it's got a crack up through here. And there is embossing on the bottom. It's really faint. But I believe it was going to be a Waterman's. It's machine made. And finally, the remains of this toy pistol. And this is a Hubley, Hubley toy pistol, six shooter. So that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you all tune in for uh, the ones, uh, the videos in the future. And hope everybody's having a great day. Over and out, folks.